Alice LPS. Hey guys, and today I'm going to be doing a review of this super kawaii Lilith's pet shop. Can't tell me that she is not kawaii because she is. Let's take a closer look at the packaging first. In the top left it says Lilith's pet shop and it's for ages 4 plus. She is LPS number 181. Clear plastic viewing window so you can see the adorable pet inside. The pet's in the city logo and her name, Leela May Pinktail. That's a long name. Her name is so long, when it's on the shelves you can't read it all. <laughs> and she's a part of the bow collection. I don't know what that means. Maybe she's a fancy pet. And on the back of her box, there's a bunch of information at the top about the app and stuff like that. And at the bottom it shows all the pets included in this line. And oh my gosh, that dog is so cute. Is this tiger in the sports category or is it a cat? I'm not too sure. Maybe it's a tabby cat. This adorable dog and cat set. I love the paint job on it. I like the gradient and it's in the heart category. This cat dog thing in the sun category. <laughs> this adorable puppy. I think it might be a collie dog. I'm not too sure but it is hella cute and I think I need it in my life and that's in the star category. Oh and she's also a sweetheart pet so that means she's more rare than the rest. Oh no I don't think I'll ever find her. <laughs> And then there's this brown bear thing, I'm not sure what it is, but she's in the bow category. And sad onion. Yeah, let's take her out of the box. Oh no. Done the thing again. Oh, okay. Yay! Okay. Ooh, her. <laughs> ah, I twisted her head all the way around. Here's everything included in the set. Let's take a quick look at this checklist first. We recap it on pretty much every review, but it's always worth seeing if there's anything new. Have a look. I have a feeling this checklist is slightly updated, so let's take a look at the things that I think might be new. I'm pretty sure all these beach buddies are the same, and I think these are the same. I don't know if I've seen her before though, she is pretty adorable. There's this cute cat here and then the dog that I really want. And on the back, I think the sports pets are all the same. We saw this sweetheart pet in my recent toy hunt video. This pink Siamese cat is super cute. This guy's pretty cute here and that's the one we have today. Okay, enough of that. Let's take a look at the star. Actually, no, we're going to have a look at this first. It's pretty cute. I don't know if you guys can see all the little details in there, but it has like a kind of plush design to it, how they've engraved it in the plastic and there's a little paw print and there's even like a little collared hood at the top there, super cute. And it's made of a very flexible plastic, it's not like the old LPS clothes made of silicone but it's really flexible. Let's see how easy it is to put on because she has a very giant head. Eek. Oh god. Oh, so not too bad actually. Pretty cute. She actually looks really adorable. I think this is my favourite new- oh, she fell. I think she is my favourite new LPS I have ever bought. She's so cool. But let's take the coat off and take a look at Lilia herself. Hula. She has these adorable giant eyes with this light pink and then purple around them. And above her eyes she has this fur detail which is super cute. She has a different shade of pink on her muzzle and then a little dark pinky purple nose, which is really nice. She has a very tiny kawaii smile. On the top of her head, she has all of her hair tied up into one flexible ponytail. It's super flexible. It's like the plastic is quite rubbery here, but it's very dense. And then at the top, it's very thin and flexible. But I am kind of worried it would break off if it was played with too rough. There's a lilac bow and it's not very well painted as you can see on the top there. She has a darker pink ear colour and they're also really fluffy and cute. They are kind of flexible but they're very like thick so they're not going to break off very easily. She has her LPS mark on the back of her head which you can scan into the app game. Her body is a different plastic to her head. Her head is quite like rubbery and dense whereas her body is quite like a solid light plastic if that makes any sense. It's really hard to explain these new LPS's like material. <laughs> and this LPS's head isn't removable but her body is just solid plastic but it has like a really pretty fuzzy texture to it with the fur. It's super detailed and she has this darker pink fluffy tail as well and she has little paws hidden in there too. Super adorable and her front fluff! Look at that front fluff! It's so fluffy! On the bottom she has this light brown coat. Don't know what that means. I wonder if her coat will fit some of the older LPS. I doubt it will because her body is very small. But, but let's try it out a 
anyway. Okay, here we go. Oh, actually. No, actually don't. <laughs> I like a hot dog, but the bun is like too small for the sausage. Actually, maybe a hot dog shaped LPS will fit it. Who knows? Let's try it. Let's go. Oh, oh girl. It looks... Wait. Like, it fits, but it looks kind of weird because the neckline is very far down. You know what I mean? I wonder if it'll fit this camel LPS. It's one of the newer ones, so maybe. Oh, it does, kind of. That's actually really neat. Styling camel. I think that pretty much wraps up for this LPS review. Let me know in the comments below what you think of her. She's probably my favorite newer LPS. She's just really adorable. Yeah, let me know, do you think she's kawaii or do you think she is too pink? Let me know. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys!